events and club meetings to mentor students and faculty of the college. How would you like to have the responsibility of keeping a busy club up and running throughout an entire semester? Today's guest is one of the busier club presidents at North Union College. He helped to keep the speech club up and running throughout the semester to entertain students and faculty. Today, he is here to talk about his responsibilities as president and events he has hosted in the past. The Humanities Mass Communications Department at North Community College presents Person to Person, the show that introduces interesting people and shows off their interesting talent. And now to join our host, Leslie Bouchard, for this episode of Person to Person. Welcome to NCC's Person to Person, the show that presents talents and interests of everyday people to you. Our guest today is the president of the Speech Club at Norwalk Community College and helps organize events and meetings throughout the semester to keep the club up and running. He is a student that will be looking to graduate NCC following the 2015 spring semester and take on new challenges in everyday life. We'd like to welcome to the show, Alex Soroy. Hi, thank you for having me. So, how long have you been the president of the speech club and what inspired you to do so? Well, uh, this is my third semester as a member of the speech club and my second semester as club president. Uh, my father was a very gifted public speaker and I would say that he was the one who first inspired me to pursue uh, public speaking actively. I first uh, found out about the club here at NCC back when I was a COM 173 student. And I immediately thought that it would be a, a great way to simultaneously kind of uh, improve my speaking skills and as an aspiring transfer student, uh, kind of uh, strengthen my resume. So. Okay, perfect. So during your time in the club, what do you feel have been the most successful events you've held? I think since I've been in the club, uh, two events uh, are the most meaningful, uh, or have been the most meaningful. I think uh, one is the impromptu speech contest, and the other one would have been TEDxNCC. Uh, both of them were milestone events. The uh, impromptu speech contest marked the 10th year uh, consecutively that Speech Club has held a uh, speech contest. and uh, the TEDx was, This was the first TEDx event ever organized at NCC. Okay, perfect. So you mentioned briefly the TEDx NCC event last semester. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, sure. So uh, TEDx events are independently organized public speaking uh, events that are modeled after uh, the famous TED Talks. Now TED stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design. And uh, TED Talk is meant to be multidisciplinary and uh, thought-provoking. They're not meant to really push uh, dead-end topics you know, that uh, don't really get you anywhere. Uh, so for TEDx NCC, uh, the first step that I did was uh, myself and my faculty advisor, Professor Seidel, uh, formed the curator team. And the two, the, that team chose uh, four speakers from about 30 applicants uh, to, who were going to end up being the live speakers at our event. And uh, they both did, uh, all of them did a very good job. We were all very proud of them. And uh, you could always look it up TEDxNCC online for more information on that event itself. So. Okay, great. So you did mention briefly the impromptu speech contest held last semester. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about that as well? Sure. Uh, the speech contest really is a cornerstone of uh, NCC's identity. Uh, we have had one every uh, year for the last decade. And each semester, we, uh, the contest is a different theme. So last semester, the contest uh, was an impromptu speaking contest. And the way that that worked was uh, there were no preliminary rounds. Uh, instead, everyone who was interested in speaking could just show up. And there was a uh, hat with pre-written uh, you know, topics. And they, would, they were t uh, asked to pick at random you know, a topic. And then they were given one minute to construct a speech, which they then had to receive sight to uh, the audience. And it was a good turnout. We had about 15 contestants, I would say, and there was anywhere from 40 to 50 uh, audience members, which is pretty good for a club event. So. Okay, okay. So can you tell us what actually goes on during a club meeting? Sure. So our uh, target audience has always been the COM 173 students. Uh, so 
at every meeting that we have, our door is always open to them. If they want to stop by, we will help them construct, uh, recite, critique, or analyze uh, various speech assignments that they have. And then uh, moving away from that, we always tend to organize about two big events each semester. Uh, like last semester, it was, it was uh, TEDx and uh, the impromptu speech contest. And we tend to use our meetings uh, to kind of prepare for those events, you know, because they take time and uh, we also have to balance everything else. So uh, each meeting, you know, we can't have uh, each meeting where a project is due or anything like that. So primarily that's what the meetings are about, getting ready for the big events uh, and helping people construct speeches and we review the speech process. Yeah. Etc. Etc. Et <laughs> okay, so we do know that you're graduating at the end of the semester. Can you tell us your plans for the future and what you plan on pursuing? Sure. Uh, well, as of now, I'm an aspiring physical therapist. Uh, so I'm currently in the process of transferring out. I'm uh, filling out my applications. Uh, my top three choices uh, are UNC Chapel Hill, uh, NYU, and the University of Miami down in Florida. And I got a couple fallbacks. The main thing I think is away from the snow. Wherever uh, there's snow, it's you know not a, uh, probably where you'll see me. <laughs> but uh, we'll see what the future holds for me and for uh, a TEDx. You know, because I'll be uh, or not TEDx uh, speech club because I will be passing the torch. And uh, so it's a time of transition really for everybody around here. So right. Okay. Perfect. Today we got to meet an individual who has helped to schedule several successful events at NCC in order to educate and entertain students, faculty, and other staff at the college. We would like to thank Alex for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for tuning into the show, and we hope you enjoyed learning about one of the busier club presidents we have here at NCC. We hope to see you again soon for our next episode. Thank you, and good day. Yeah. Well, yeah. And this time I could see something.